The long-awaited return of Greek Oscar winner Yorgos Lanthimos, Poor Things is one of this year's most delightful surprises. The Venice Golden Lion contender may not be easy to describe, but the hybrid label of gothic coming-of-age sex comedy offers a gratifying approximation to what this film tastes like. Lanthimos's seventh feature is not only his second period effort after The Favourite, but it is also the second one to be written by Tony McNamara instead of the director himself. In this case, the script is adapted from Scottish writer Alastair Gray's 1992 novel of the same name, which Lanthimos enlivens with a star-studded cast. Emma Stone, Willem Dafoe, Mark Ruffalo and Remy Youssef are in the leads. In the novel, an eccentric doctor brings a young woman back to life after her apparent suicide, giving her the brain of her unborn child. In awe of his experiment, Dr. Godwin Baxter appoints Max McCandles to help gather daily data to record her development. While there are obvious echoes of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein here, Poor Things is dedicated to the making of a woman or how a woman makes herself. Unlike the book, Lanthimos's film sticks to said woman's, Bella's, point of view in both content and form. As her speech and movements become smoother, the world we witness expands, becoming more incandescent by the minute. From its black and white beginning to the oversaturated colors that follow. As soon as she decides to elope with the famous flirt Duncan Wedderburn, we're treated to mesmerizing cityscapes, Lisbon, Alexandria, and Paris whose stylized look enhances Bella's own sense of wonder. Tony McNamara moves the original setting from a politically significant Victorian Glasgow to a whimsical London, and in doing so, the political allegory dissipates to make room for literal meaning, exemplified through Bella's corporeal way of being in the world. If Lanthimos was drawn to the idea of a mind as tabula rasa, his filmmaking renders it through the body. The close collaboration with Stone, who also serves as a producer, ensured a gradual character buildup to yield electrifying results. A versatile actress, Stone excels herself here, with a performance that implements every stage of her character's process of socialization in her posture, walking, and speech. Bella's autonomy is directly linked to her sexuality, and this discovery, in the myriad impressive sex scenes, is also mapped on her body and movements. The favorite cinematographer, Robbie Ryan, lenses these shifts through close-ups and fisheye, often spliced together by Lanthimos's long-standing editor, Yorgos Mavropsoritis, to create familiarity through distance at the right moment. Poor Things reveals Lanthimos's taste for close-up framing and flamboyant aesthetics, unlocking a new facet of his imaginative approach to storytelling decisively bettering Gray's source material by opting for a more fitting ending, the Greek director has made what seems his most hopeful film yet. He couldn't have chosen a more suitable movie to strip of its political allegories. The corporeal challenges at the heart of poor things are not only overcome, but are overcome with gusto, empathy, and a lot of caustic humor. One can never really brace oneself for its spectacle, nor for the riches of bizarre vitality that it offers despite the title's promise. Poor Things is a Searchlight Pictures production, in collaboration with the UK's Element Pictures and Film 4, together with US companies Fruit Tree and TSG Entertainment. Searchlight Pictures also handles the world's sales,